I choose to die here in St. Pat's because I like to, I like in nature to protect ants, animals, wood, locust, water, all. High stakes war against trafficking of something worth more than gold, cocaine, even diamonds. The coveted horn of the endangered rhino, part of a black market controlled by transnational criminal networks. Rhino horn is rumored to cure everything from hangovers to cancer, despite an international ban on the trading of rhino horn. The dogs have become absolute game changers in the fight against poaching. The bloodhound Doberman, what we have found is that they are able to track human scent that's older than 18 hours. A human cannot do that. A ranger can't do that. So it's a ranger's best friend because it can follow the spur of the poacher and it warns the ranger when he's close to a poacher. The canine unit started in 2012. It's developed into 38 working dogs across Kruger Park from the north to the south. The arrest rate has been phenomenal. The dogs obviously are the most important. Their well-being is incredibly important to us. The dogs wear GPS harnesses when they go out into the field. That is a massive need for us because the information and the data that we get from the harnesses gives us what the ground temperature is that the dog's working in. Is it too hot? Do we need to retract the dogs? How long has he been wor working? Um, it gives us so much data about what's happening on the ground that without that data, you know, the well-being of the dog is, is at risk without that data. So just to give you an idea, for the GPS data for 38 dogs for a year is 250,000 Rand, that's South African Rand. Yeah, so the second part is obviously veterinary expenses that, um, that we need to support the dogs with. Uh, the cost of veterinary services is very high. And then just the general maintenance of the units where they are, you know, their kennels. So they really are treated as the superstars they are because if they are not running at optimal efficiency, then the, the conservation of our wildlife is at risk. The dogs are the face of the project and we are always grateful for donations of dogs. Dogs, you know, retire, but we're finding it harder and harder to get donors for the support structures of the dogs. And because of our absolute insistence that the dogs are treated in the best possible way. You know, those support structures are as important. Natürlich kann man ähm, Mitglied werden bei Erlana for Animals, auch wenn man nicht was mit dem Fliegen zu tun hat, ähm, wenn man die Liebe für die Tiere hat und ähm, auch irgendwie so eine Sicherheit hat, weil wir Flugbegleiter, die zum Beispiel ein Herzensprojekt haben, haben die Möglichkeit zum Projekt zu fliegen und ähm, genau zu gucken, wo das Geld hinkommt und natürlich machen wir das auch, also die, die das Projekt haben, auf eigene Kosten. Und wir freuen uns, uns sind alle herzlich willkommen. Jeden Tag sterben immer noch Nashörner und Elefanten. Jeden Tag werden sie getötet. Und wenn das so weitergeht, dann wird es eines Tages gar keine mehr dieser wundervollen Tiere geben. Und das wollen wir natürlich verhindern. Deswegen engagieren wir uns in Südafrika schon seit längerer Zeit und tun alles, um die Wilderei zu bekämpfen. Mit unseren eigenen Spielhunden, mit dem Team vor Ort, mit dem wundervollen Projekt und natürlich mit unserer Projektpartin, die uns wöchentlich 
immer up to date hält, was es Neues gibt und wie die Gelder eingesetzt werden. Dieser Kampf, der muss weiter gekämpft werden, denn sonst wird es eines Tages keine Nashörner und Elefanten mehr geben. Vielen Dank, dass ihr uns unterstützt.